Hi, today I want to show a quick thing. It's a very common thing when using a camcorder and you have two different audio sources plugged into it. A lot of camcorders interpret that as a stereo input even though it does not come through that way because maybe you have a lavalier and a shotgun. For example, if you look at this clip right here, when I play it, here you can see on the right here, my audio levels are at different things. My right channel is... So it's clearly showing you that it's picking up those inputs of one and two as a stereo pair and not as two mono channels. So to easily fix that before we bring it into our timeline, because once we bring it into our timeline, those are linked together. In fact, if I drag this clip down here and make a clip, you can see it's showing up as one stereo audio file and not two independent left and right channels. So I'm going to undo that. What I'm going to do is I can do this for all of them at once too. I can. I can do it one at a time, or I can just highlight all of my video files here. Right click, I'm going to go up to Modify Audio Channels, and then right here, Clip Channel Format. It's currently as stereo. So I hit the drop down and change that to mono. And now when I do that, you can see it took away one of the channels. Now there's only one channel. I want to make sure I tell it it still has two audio clips. When I just click in here again, there, now it has. Clip 1, channel 1 is going to come in as the left channel. Clip 2, channel 1 is the right channel. So they're both coming through as channel 1. I hit OK. And now, when I play this, it still shows it there, but when I bring it into the timeline, both left and right channels are now two separate files. So you see audio 1 is here, audio 2 is here. They're now independent tracks, so I can manipulate them by themselves without having to worry about one being in the left ear, one being in the right ear. They're both coming out as mono and I can manipulate them individually. So if I have a lav and a shotgun, for instance, I can work with those independently now. And that is how you take care of um, stereo interpreted files, create them as dual mono in Adobe Premiere Pro.